Hi everyone! In this episode we have Hewlett Packard 33120A function generator for repair. Something is wrong with the output level. Let's take a look. Here it is, hooked up to a scope with 50 ohm termination and the 1 to 1 probe set here. And on the generator we have 1 kHz 100 mV peak to peak uh, signal, which is the default. And we measure about 120 or 130 millivolts at the moment. I believe I have seen about 100 millivolts output before, but now it is not 100. And it's all over the shop. If I increase this to 200, it goes down to 86 or so. If I increase to 300, uh, I believe it went through some... Uh, intermediate state and now it is about 310 and if I increase to 400 it goes down again to 160 500 we have about 200 here in the scope 600 and we have uh, about 620 on the scope 700 and it went down again to about 290 or so. Something is really wrong. Let's take this thing apart and take a look inside. Here we are inside and nothing is obviously wrong. High quality build as expected. And the first thing is uh, to check voltages of course. Here I see some markings on the board. A plus 5 volt rail here, plus and minus 18, and minus 5.2. Let's check. I doubt that the problem is with power rails, because the unit is mostly working, but this should be checked first as a matter of course anyway. So let's use this ground. This should be positive 5 volt rail. It's there. This should be positive 18, no problem, negative 18, present, and negative 5.2, no problem. Let's take a look at this block diagram I found in the service manual. This is the power supply, main controller is here with some microprocessor and RAM. This is the digital waveform data synthesis block with some special ASIC. Modulation RAM is here, waveform RAM is here, 40 MHz clock is here, waveform DAC, amplitude leveling DAC, and amp control signal. Waveform DAC produces differential output, which goes to filters. And uh, there are two signal paths here through this 17 uh, megahertz low pass filter and 10 megahertz low pass filter. And they are to get rid of uh, high frequency noise. The output of this is still differential, goes to this pre attenuator 0 to 14 dB in 2 dB steps. This part is to produce square waves. And this is the sync output on the front panel. And the output of this goes to the output amplifier, where it becomes single-ended. And after that it goes to the output attenuator, 0 to 30 dB in 2 dB steps. And after that there is this uh, output connector on the front panel. Here AM modulation can be switched on, controlled by this part. And this part is another DAC and multiplexer to generate several control voltages. Uh, 5 volt reference, uh, this is for square wave uh, offsets and such. This is uh, output offset, uh, modulation offset and amp control. And I read the theory of operation briefly and I found that the amplitude control is done in three different ways. First is this uh, amp control, which is used here. This is to control the gain within 2 dB. The next way is to use this pre-attenuator, 
in 2db steps and the, finally this output attenuator so let's start checking these things first of all we can check uh, this amp out if the problem is there then we can rule out the output attenuator then we can check this pre-attenuator and we can check this smooth control within 2db so I checked just before the output attenuator at this point which is marked on the board amp out and the problem is there so it must be something before that and I checked that smooth control or fine control I should say by adjusting the last digit of the amplitude and that seems to work properly so I suspect that so-called pre-attenuator so this uh, fine control seems to work ok and the output attenuator can be ruled out because the problem is present before it so I think we should focus on this pre-attenuator and here is the schematic this is the differential input one side and the other side here and there are two absolutely symmetrical paths and the output is differential as well so we see these attenuation steps and these two multiplexers are switching the outputs between these attenuation steps these are analog multiplexers and they are controlled simultaneously so we need to start checking around here I suppose Here they are on the board, U601 and U602. And look what I found. Pin 16 is 5 volt rail, but connected through uh, 100 ohm resistors separately for each multiplexer. And there are bypass capacitors after these resistors. And uh, look at this. Uh, this is one of the resistors. This is the volt rail side here it is and the other side is just a tiny bit lower and this is the other resistor again 5 volt rail and the other side 0.8 volts now let's see which one is this yeah this one and this one is uh, 5 volts no problem so it seems to me that this multiplexer is dead there's a chance of course that something else is loading the rail uh, let's say bypass capacitor or something else but most probably this multiplexer is faulty so I removed this bypass capacitor here and look at this we have 14 ohms across it so it was not the multiplexer after all we need a new ceramic capacitor 0.1 microfarads 25 volts this should be easy new capacitor is installed and now the power rail on this multiplexer looks fine it looks much better now but still there is some problem let's increase the amplitude and watch the scope and I'm going to increase tens of millivolts peak to peak so we should see small steps up and this step was down and down again fine so far and this step was too large and down again I am starting to suspect that maybe someone tried calibrating this thing when the hardware was not working properly. Perhaps it just needs calibration now. It seems like I was right. I followed the calibration procedure in the service manual using this 6.5 digit multimeter and I did not record this. It is just a long and boring procedure, nothing complicated just follow the manual 
the generator puts out particular amplitudes and you are supposed to enter back what you read on the multimeter. Some steps are done with 50 ohm termination and some steps with high Z. And now look at this. The amplitude looks perfectly fine. I switch to volts RMS and we are at 100 millivolts RMS and we are just about 1 millivolt out. 110, 120, 30, 40, 50, perfectly fine, and so on. How about, let's say, 0.5? No problem. How about 1 volt RMS? Perfect. How about 2 volts RMS? Again, no problem. And uh, 3 volts RMS. Perfectly fine. So the generator is fixed. Thanks for watching. Bye.